Hello, I'm Lou and welcome back to Open Up The Cloud. This is the final video in a series about the Cloud Resume Challenge. Well, it's the final video in the core series. It's the final step. Actually, we have the blog post to do, but it's the final bit of the actual code bit of the Cloud Resume Challenge. And that is, we are going to be deploying some assets from our index file into S3. And that will mean that we are deploying our front end from GitHub Actions in a CI, CD type of way. And yeah, and then that will be it for the sort of bare bones, minimal Cloud Resume Challenge bit that we are done for uh, as part of this whole series. Now, this is the third step in the CI, CD. So hopefully you should be getting more comfortable with, with GitHub Actions at this point and what CI, CD is. So I don't think it needs much intro. Let's just jump right into it and have a look at how we can deploy our front end assets in GitHub Actions. So in the challenge, it says create a second private GitHub repository for your website code. Create GitHub actions such that when you push new website code, the S3 bucket automatically gets updated. Now, I'm not going to create a separate repo. I've already got it in the same one. You can if you want. Um, pros and cons to doing it. Uh, in this case, I quite like actually keeping them together because it keeps everything, all the infrastructure together and keeps, they're going to, they're going to be related. So I quite actually like keeping them together. If you think that having two repos is a decent learning experience for you, then go for it, you know, create a new repo if you want. But in this actual video, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the part of actually uploading into our S3 bucket using GitHub Actions. In the last two videos, basically what we did in the first video, we did our tests in GitHub Actions, testing our Lambda function. Then we deployed the Lambda function, DynamoDB, all of our infrastructure. Now in this last step, what we're going to do is actually update the website. So before we were deploying our infrastructure, now we're actually going to put things onto our infrastructure. And in this case, we're going to actually upload things into our, onto our website, which is our index.html file, or in my case, it's just an index.html file. Now, let me show you how that looks. So if I have a look in my main file. So from before we had this test infra uh, job, which is doing all of our unit tests. Then we added this build and deploy infra, which was doing our upload of the AWS SAM and the infrastructure building. And now we're just going to do this final step, which is to actually deploy the website. Now, you should be quite familiar now with the GitHub action steps and how this looks. So what we're doing is, again, checking out the code. We're then going to use this S3 sync uh, GitHub action. And we're going to pass this argument delete. Now, the delete argument basically does a clear up. So here I'm saying sync. Uh, a directory up to S3, but in this case, by using delete, it basically means if there's any additional files, it's going to delete them. It's not just going to upload, it will also delete things in the S3 bucket, which is what I want in this case. And what we're going to do here is we're going to pass in the S3 bucket name. That's in this case, that's open up the cloud website. That's defined in your template file. And we've got the access key and the secret key, just like we did in the previous step for the uh, AWS infrastructure. And then lastly, what I'm going to do is actually point that to my directory. Now, your directory might be the top level, so that it might mean that you can just uh, keep this the default. In my case, my actual HTML file is living within this Cloud Resume Challenge forward slash resume site. Uh, so I'm going to point my source directory to that. And that's all we're going to do. If you remember last time as well, we also had a uh, this needs property. So that was allowing us to only deploy our infrastructure if the test was actually run. Now, in this case, I don't mind too much having this as a separate step. Now, actually in saying that, uh, potentially you might want to have this so that this deploys only after the infrastructure is created, because in theory, if your S3 bucket doesn't exist, then this step won't run, but the infrastructure is only going to be created once. So what I'm going to do is have this step run as an entirely standalone step, uh, as a, a standalone job, and I'm not going to make it dependent and I'm not going to chain them one on top of each other so that it can run in parallel. It's just going to speed things up a little bit and also because uh, the actual deployment of the HTML, in my case at least, doesn't rely on the test passing because the tests are actually separate code. If I want to write a different tests for my website, then that would make sense. I could chain that together and then I could have sort of a front end and a back end pipeline running in parallel. Now, let me jump into GitHub and show you what that looks like, similar to before. So we can see from before I've got the, the original workflow builds. And now if I jump into this one, we've got introduced to the CI CD for the static site. And basically, as I said, so before we had the test infra chained onto the build and deploy infra uh, so that those two are dependent on each other. In this case, I'm just doing the deploy infra as standalone. So if we go in there and have a look at it, what we will see is basically we've just got one step in this case, which is the S3 sync. And uh, that should be basically syncing from the local resume site. And that's syncing up to this. In my case, it's called open up the cloud website forward slash index HTML. And that's it. That's now uh, actually uploading my index HTML as part of the pipeline. That's all of the automation done. And that's actually number 15 ticked off as well. So that 
means that we've actually run through every single step so far in the Cloud Resume Challenge. Now you've got, uh, you've got the front-end website, you've got the back-end, you've got the APIs, you've got Lambda, you've got DynamoDB, you've got GitHub Actions, you've got CICD, uh, all of that put together, AWS SAM, all of that put together and working. And now actually the final step, provided that you've done your AWS certification as part of the start of the challenge, all you'd have to do now is write up the blog post, talk about everything that you've learned, maybe start to polish off your project. What I'm going to do next now is actually start to dig into some more advanced topics related to the Cloud Resume Challenge. There was a few things that I skipped over, things like tightening up those cores values, maybe implementing some of the best practices, maybe talking about things like test coverage, best practices for test coverage, and taking the Cloud Resume Challenge to another level. So I want to do that in a few subsequent videos. Uh, so follow along. I think that's going to be quite useful because I know that most people who are doing the Cloud Resume Challenge are doing it in order to get a job. And they're also one of the big values is using it as part of the interview process. So learning some of those more advanced uh, topics is going to really help. And also not just the advanced topics, but understanding a bit more of the reason why things have been created in the way that they've been created. But I think you can't really have those conversations about the advanced topics until you've actually implemented and had a go and had a play and got hands on with some of these things, the CICD, the AWS, uh, the infrastructure as code. But now we can start to open this whole uh, different conversation, different advanced topics about cloud and AWS and some more advanced things in some subsequent videos.